Training your ankle flexibility from beginner to elite. Level one, single leg ankle rolls. All right, for the first one, we're gonna grab ourselves a stick or you can place yourself against the wall to support yourself. You're gonna place a mat down on the ground. We're gonna bring our feet hip width apart and it's the ankle on the outer foot. So not the one next to the stick or the wall, but on the outer side. We're gonna roll the ankle out as much as possible. Push the hips over and we're gonna pulse with the other leg. So we're gonna bend the knee and then straighten the leg. Doing this, you're gonna feel that stretch on the outer part of the ankle. Good, step two, push the hip over, bring the hip back into the center. Level two, ankle walks. Bring your feet out, hip width apart. We're gonna roll onto the outer part of the ankle and we're gonna gently walk forward. As we're walking forward, you're gonna try and roll the ankle out as much as you possibly can. Go to the other side of the room and then walk backwards. Now it's the backwards movement that will allow you to roll the ankle a lot better. So if you're struggling with this movement going forward, feel free just to do the backwards movement. Now each ankle roll is a concentrated movement. I'm trying to focus on pushing the ankle outwards. If you're struggling with this exercise, we can always use a couple of sticks. You can steal your granddad's walking stick or we can use a couple of brooms to help us walk forward. Level three, ankle hops. For this exercise, we're gonna go back into a hip width apart position with our feet and then we're gonna lightly jump forward. Now when we're doing this, the goal isn't to get distance or height, but to try and land as softly as possible. So you're nice and quiet and you're absorbing it in the hips and the quads. For beginners, we can go backwards, which will make things a lot easier. Level four, stick surfing. For this, we're gonna place a stick on the ground. We're gonna bring one foot on top and we're gonna place the first two toes on either side of the stick, like you're gripping the stick between the toes. Then we bring the other leg out to the side and we use that as a counterbalance. And then the fun starts. We can also see if we can go into switching the feet. The first thing you'll experience is an uncomfortable sensation on the base of the foot. You wanna get used to that sensation first. So we're conditioning the feet to get used to that hard surface. And we can change the thickness of the stick to make things a bit more challenging. Level five, barbell surfing. For this exercise, we switch out the stick for a barbell. Now the barbell spins in two places, one in the center, one on the outside. So we've got a bit more instability with the ankles. So again, same as the stick, we place our feet on the barbell. This one you're gonna have to get a bit more used to, the barbell moving in the center first before you start walking across. Level six, barbell surfing with some plates. For this one, we put two plates on either side of the barbell to elevate the barbell, which brings more instability to the bar in the center and also allows us to roll the outer part of the bars as well. Again, you wanna get used to doing this with a single leg. And the key to this one is light pressure of the feet. So small intricate movements to get used to the balancing part of the movement. And I'm using that outer leg a lot more in this one to try and balance the two points of the areas of the bar moving. Once you've got the balancing point, we can place the other foot back on the bar. And now we've got two points of contact on the bar from both feet. We can start to squat down towards the ground, which will make balancing a little easier since the center of gravity comes down to the ground. And then we can squat back up. Level seven, pistol squats on the barbell. So just like it sounds, we're gonna go into a pistol squat whilst balancing on the barbell. Now for this, I'm gonna try not to speak. 